Social Services Motivational Mondays. Yes, it is that time again. Always want to say thank you for supporting. Thank you for tuning in. And always subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be studying in the Book of Psalms. Yes, that's a favorite for so many people because it's just filled with so much content. And most of it is written by David. A lot of it is written by David. But there are some of the Psalms that are not written, written by David. So... Today, we're going to take a look at a Psalm of David, Psalm 141, 9 through 10. Psalm 141, 9 through 10, that is an Old Testament, so that's about in the middle of your Bible, Psalm 141. And if I had to choose a sermon for today, I went back and forth with this one, but urgent care, urgent care. And verse 9 and 10 reads, keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, mm, mm, mm. and the gins are the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall unto their own nets, whilst I withal escape. Woo! I tell you, I've got to go and tell you that you've got to go back and read, starting from this first verse, where it talks about, he says, Lord, I cry unto thee. And that's why I said urgent care, because here it is a cry. It is a cry. If you are like me, how many of you have ever had to cry out to God and say, God, I know you hear me, but it's urgent. This is an ICU kind of situation right here. This is the emergency room. I need you right now, God. And so many of us deal with enemies and deal with vicious people in our lives. Every day we turn the news on, we see something negative about this happened or that happened or this happened or that happened. And sometimes it can be so discouraging. But David is crying out to the Lord because there is no other help that we have except God. So he is crying out and saying, Lord, I'm crying out to you. My enemies are trying to come up against me. They're setting up snares that are trying to trap me. They're trying to get me any way they can. Perhaps someone on the sound of my voice is feeling that way. Perhaps on your job, it feels like every day you walk in, somebody's trying to capture you in conversation that is not healthy for you. Gossip about this person. Gossip about that person. Gossip about this situation. Yes, that's considered a snare too. Perhaps somebody may be physically trying to harm you, or perhaps they have have physically harmed you, but I come to tell you that when you cry out to God, that the snares and the foul and the foul mouth of the enemy shall not capture you. They shall not capture you spiritually. They shall not capture you physically. They shall not capture you because you have the Lord on your side. David says, hmm, they have these snares that are set up against me. Every day we leave our homes, we know that there is an attack that we walk into. So I encourage you that every day God allows you another breath. Every time your, your eyes open in the morning, even before your feet hit the floor, that you're saying, thank you, Jesus. Before anything else falls out of your mouth, falls from your lips, it is, thank you, Jesus. Because we all need something from him and we're all grabbing after him every day. And it seems like sometimes when you pray and you ask for these little, what I call small prayers, I'll talk about myself. Sometimes I ask for what I feel like are little small prayers. But at the time, it seemed like it was a very big prayer for me. It seems like it was an urgent care situation. But then I walk out the door and I meet somebody who's in a deeper situation than I am. They're in deeper trouble than I am. They're in a more foul situation than I'm in. And I have to say, Lord, you know what? Don't worry about it. Forget about that for me. Give that prayer to them. But we all have issues that come up against us. We all have circumstances that come in our life and we say, if one more thing, how many of you out there have ever said, if just one more thing come up against me, if one more phone rings, if one more text come through, if one more negative email comes across, I 
I'm going to just lose my mind. But I tell you, I encourage you, don't lose your mind, but look unto the hills from which come your help. Look to God. Look to the Lord. Look to Jesus because he has all of our help. He is a very present help in this time of trouble. He will help you. Because before you knew you were going to meet the enemy, God already knew it. But sometimes I feel like situations come up against us because God wants to know, are they really aware that I am the answer to any problem that they have? Do they understand that I am the answer? I know they called their friends, they called their family, they called everybody they could, and sometimes they'll even have the nerve to call the psychic hotline to ask about the future. But God says, but the moment they realize they shall call on me, that I have everything they need. I have every single thing they need. I am their everything. But so many times in this world today, we see so many other things that are offered to us. If you only do this, then this will happen. Ten ways to a blessing. Seven ways to get your prayer answered. Three ways to do this. Two ways to do that. Well, I tell you, there's only one, and his name is Jesus. Yes, we know we call him a triune, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but it is still one. He is still one. Yes, he is the Father. Yes, he is Jesus. Yes, he is the Son. He is all, and we have access to him. He says there's absolutely nothing too hard for him. And you've probably heard it said, there's nothing too hard for God. But how many of us are able to walk around and we're actually Bible quoters and Bible toters, but we don't really walk in the word? Because as soon as something hard comes up against us, as soon as some kind of vile situation comes up against us, it seems like we're just going to just, just lose our mind. We're going to forget all about Jesus. We're going to act some kind of way. We're going to act out and use all these cuss words, ugly words that we know we should not be using. But instead, I say to you, be like David and call on the Lord. David says, Lord, I'm crying out to thee. Lord, I need you right now. This is an urgent situation. This is urgent. I need you to hear me right now, God. And somebody may be saying, yeah, preacher, I've called out and he didn't answer me. But I say to you, never cease to call on the name of Jesus. But when you call on the name of Jesus, the first point of belief is you. You are the first point of belief. Because he still needs you to get behind and push the prayer forward. Because it says faith without work is dead. Listen to the word work means you've got to do something. So stop asking God to send me this or send me that or send me this person or send me that person because he says you got to do something. What are you going to do? David says, Lord, I need you. I don't care what anybody else around me says about you, God. If they denounce you or they try to pray to the universe or whatever they try, I need you, God. I need you, Lord. I know you are my only way out of this mess. So I'm calling on you right now, God. It's urgent. Because my enemies, just as the children at the Red Sea, the enemies were coming quickly. They could hear the attack. Not only did they know the attack was coming, but they could hear the attack coming. And sometimes we can hear the attack coming. God says, I am still with you even when the enemy tries to attack. Then no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Did not say it would not form, but it says it will not, it shall not prosper. I pray that someone under the sound of my voice has gotten something out of this word today. 
even though your enemies are attacking. They are vicious, they are vile, but they shall not win. Say it with me, they shall not win. Cry out to the Lord, and you, you, yes, you are a winner. Be blessed, be well. Believe that Jesus Christ did live. He died, and he is yet risen and sits on the right hand of the Father. And he's going to God on behalf of your prayers and my prayers. And you shall be saved. Be well, be blessed. Say it with me. I love you, I love you, I love you, and you can do absolutely nothing about it. Until next time, blessings. Blessings.